Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today we are in Audacity, and I am going to be showing you guys how to remove background noise or unwanted background noise within your Audacity audio files. So I purposefully left a little silence there so we can kind of select what we need to select in the audio file. And as you can see, we're in Audacity here on the screen. And as you can see, I'm recording audio right now as we speak. Now, in order for us to remove background noise, we got to select the noise that we want to remove. So we have to select the unwanted noise. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now. And then if we go back over here in the timeline and we look right here, we have a little blank area. Now, I am in a studio where there are it's not that much background noise, but let's just say there is a bunch of background noise right here. Now, you want that background noise to be removed from within the whole project, so not just this area here. So what you're going to want to do is select the unwanted audio right here, so select the unwanted noise right here, and then go up to where you see effect and then go all the way down until you see noise reduction. Now under noise reduction, you're going to see these two steps here. Now under step one, you're going to see something that says get noise profile. Now that's going to be the button that we're going to want to press. But before we do that, we want to look at step two down here. Now noise reduction in decibels right here. So if you want it to be reduced all the way, go all the way down to zero. If you want it to be, you know, all the way up, that'll be a little louder, whatever it may be. So the less, the, the, the further left you slide that slider, the more of it will be reduced. The further right you slide that slider, the louder or more prominent that noise will be. So normally you want to keep that right around 6 to 12, but remember if you go too low, it's going to start removing some of the vocals that you don't want it to remove, and because of that your audio is going to start sounding a little strange. So leave that right around 12. I'm going to go ahead and leave that back at 12. And then sensitivity, leave it there at 6, and then frequency, leave that at 0, and then go ahead and click the get noise profile button. Now, we have captured the noise profile, which is this area here that we have selected. All right, and the next thing you're going to want to do is select the whole audio file. So go ahead and hit Command or Control A on your keyboard or go up to Edit and then go down to where you see Select All, okay? So once we've selected all of our audio by doing that, we then want to go back up to Effect and then the first thing we're going to see is something that says Repeat Noise Reduction. Go ahead and click on that, Repeat Noise Reduction. That will take that noise that you've selected and remove it to the degree that you've chosen to remove it and that way that background noise will no longer be in your audio. So now if we play that audio back, so I purposefully left a little silence there so we can kind of select as we can hear, it's a nice crisp audio file that has no background noise getting in the way or interfering. Now, if you have any questions on how to do this, go ahead and put those in the comment box down below. I'll help you out as much as I possibly can. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. And please, please, please subscribe to the channel for more great content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.